Welcome to Club and Country, I'm Susanna Collins. Well, coming off that disappointing 2-0 loss to Columbia, the U.S. men's national team is now in Chicago preparing for their next matchup against Costa Rica. And I had a chance to catch up with some of the players to get a sense of how they're feeling heading into their next game. I think we feel good. You know, uh, it was a game where we, we gave up two set-piece goals, and I feel like uh, we did a pretty good job, so I feel like confidence is good. You know, it was just one game. Uh, we still got two games to play, and it's going to be a difficult match. They're going to bring a lot of energy. Maybe it'll be a physical game, you know. There'll be a little history there. They're going to know that, uh, you know, if they, if they get a result, it puts them in a good position uh, to try to get out of the group. Um, so uh, it's going to be a tough test, but... Uh, you know, it's a must win for us as well, so looking forward to it. Well, you heard from the players. I also had a chance to catch up with Marcelo Balboa, and I asked him what his biggest takeaways were from that Columbia match. God, I think you got to look at it and say maybe a few opportunities they had on set pieces. They had three or four that Dempsey hit off the wall, and then Fabian Johnson hit one. The header that Dempsey had off the corner was a good piece. Um, the last 20 minutes, I would say, of the second half when they started pushing bodies forward and, and, and pinning Columbia back into that but you know I think that when you look at it and you talk about a good 20 minutes or a good 30 minutes in a 90 minute game mm -hmm. I think you, that's probably why the U.S. got that result. Let's talk about this Costa Rica team they're sort of the darlings in, in 2014 kind of up and down since yeah. then but they're certainly not a team to be overlooked what can we expect from them? I expect a Costa Rica team to come out and do what they did the other day play a 5-4-1 They'll defend and they'll hit you quickly on the counterattack with Campbell. And they've got a good group. But again, the U.S. has to be able, for me, the U.S. has to be able to get more bodies into the attack. And, uh, and, and you, you got to be able to generate some short passes instead of, I thought it almost got a little predictable towards the end there because there was a lot of long balls. So I don't think that's going to work against Costa Rica. What did you make of Jurgen's post-game comments after the match on Friday? He basically said he was he was pretty okay with, with how they played. Was that just simply a case of him being defiant Jurgen that we've seen before? <laughs> <laughs> I think this. I, I've been around soccer a long time. I think every coach sees and everybody has an opinion mm -hmm. on and sees the game of soccer differently. I think Jurgen saw it one way. A lot of fans saw it one way. I think a lot of other people saw it a different way. So, listen, I, I think the coach is the important part. He's got to see it the way he wants. I think for us, um, we didn't see two teams that were equal. I think you saw one team that was a little better on two goals, off the possession, even though U.S. had more possession, but more positive possession. I think Colombia did. But, listen, 2 nothing, and, and you still got a fighting chance uh, against Costa Rica and Paraguay. How important is it for the United States to get a result against Costa Rica? Well, what's the result? Uh, uh, some points. points. How about some points? Three points, eight points. No, uh, I guess it all depends on what happens. It was a great result, the tie. Great result yeah. because now the U.S. wins. They go back up to three points. Costa Rica stays at one. A tie. Now it comes down to the Paraguay game. It depends on what Paraguay and Colombia do. So, yeah, you got to just kind of wait and see what, what's going on. But uh, they need a point. They need a point. And at home, I, I would say you got to be Costa Rica. You need three points. That'll do it for another edition of Club and Country. Make sure you check out MLSsoccer.com for all your Copa America coverage.